So finally, next step should be to log into the SAP system. However, we still need to do one more middle step because uh, I want to talk. I want to show you something about the licenses or licensing in this SAP system. So the next step in the step guide in this notepad is about logging in, logging in to the SAP system from your desktop. So this is the virtual machine that is running uh, on your desktop, but inside there is a virtual Linux system. So what you want to do is to log in to your SAP logon on your Windows so that we can start logging in, logging into SAP system from there. Okay, so make sure that you open up SAP logon from the steps before that we were creating this one and double click on your connection. Either you can double click, that's what I usually do, or you can highlight your connection to SAP system and, and hit logon. So, so I'm going to double click on this and such SAP window will pop up. So you will need to provide your user and password. These are the, these are the uh, credentials that you can see inside of your Linux system, okay? So I'm going to Control C uh, on the developer, okay? Control V, and then uh, you can also double click to highlight the whole password, Control C, Control V. Okay, one thing to point out, this download password, this seems to be like download, the text called download, but this L is not really num uh, is not really a character L, but is a, this is a number one. Okay, so instead of download, uh, there is down one O A D. So that's why it's good to copy and paste everything that you have right here in this TXT file, so that you make sure that you don't run into unnecessary trouble, unnecessary unnecessary troubles. So I copied and pasted developer and the password and now we can hit enter, all right? And what you are going to see in this first phase, when you are going to run this SAP system for the first time, you get such, such, such error. It's not a syntax error, this is an SAP error, says saying logon not possible error in license check. All right, so what to do right now? So if you go back to your virtual machine, here is another TXT file called when SAP license expires. So double click on that. This is a procedure that you will have to do each and every three months. Okay, so on a quarterly basis, regularly, you will have to do the same thing. So right now, control C and go to your browser. So I go back to the Chrome and open up the step-by-step -step guide and of, of course, just get rid of all the pop-up windows. So let me quickly walk you through this tutorial so that you can visually see how I would do this installation of the license. So I'm going to move the window from the left side uh, or to the right side so that we can see the window uh, on the left side SAP system window and on the right side the step guide. Okay, so here is what we do. We firstly have to log in to a special admin user, Control C, Control V, SAP star user, and provide the same same password. Download. Okay, so just make sure you highlight. Do the Control C and Control V. These are your friends in this step guide. So you don't have to do everything from your memory. You just need to make sure that things are going to work. And then. Next step is go to as license transaction. So I double clicked or highlighted the as license transaction and paste it here to the uh, command line in SAP and then press enter. Okay, so right here you can see that license, original license has expired. So we need to make sure that we are going to upload a new license. So next step, get hardware key. So we need to get the following hardware key from this place. Control C, okay, so I'm going to highlight Control C, this hardware key from the from the SAP system, and we go to next step, which is go to SAP portal so that we can prolong the license and get the new license. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and we are looking for NPL system, SAP NetViewer 7.52 in our case. Sybase ASE, okay? This one is important because the, here is another NPL system. We are not using MaxDB, we are using a Sybase ASE. All right, then scroll down. Personal data. You provide your all, all the personal data, okay? So Ladislav, uh, Ridzik, here is my email address, Ridzik at 
academy.com so you can even see my email address which is by the way public and right here hardware key control v we are going to paste the same hardware active hardware key from the s license transaction and now we have to agree with the license agreement if you go through the license agreement and hit agree you get the new license generated once we click on the generate button all right so you can find here npl in my case it's five because i downloaded multiple licenses before uh, this recording anyhow you get npl.txt file in your downloads folder so now we go back to the step guide so here are all the information like what we need to do in order to generate license file and if you open up the npl file that's actually how it looks like like a bunch of the random stuff in there so we go to the step num number nine which is go to as license so we go to as license and we need to delete the current license right here okay so you go to edit delete license and then you confirm that the license has been deleted so right now we have nothing in the license window and now we want to move to the next step which is step number 10 install a new license so we go edit install license and we have to look up for the file which we have just generated so i moved into my sap installation downloads folder and here is my npl5 txt file which i'm going to select and hit open now SAP asks me if I want to upload this file into SAP system. So I want to allow SAP to get that uh, file and install the license. And right now I see that one SAP license has been successfully installed. If I hit OK, right now you should already be able to see the new file being uploaded. So currently um, this is valid from February 2024 into May 2024. Okay, so also in your case, once you will be done with this installation of the license, you just need to make sure that after three months, you prolong the license once again. So if we go back into the step guide, uh, there's actually the conclusion of all the steps that you need to do in order to install the license in the SAP system.